Today we're going to be talking about percent yield, which is page five of the Chemistry 1, Chapter 12 packet. Percent yield is giving you a percentage of what you made out of what you were supposed to make. So let's take a quick example with bread and cheese sandwiches. Let's suppose that you have a secret recipe of bread and cheese sandwiches that one bread plus two cheeses gives one sandwich. Let's suppose that you were given um, 40 slices of bread and you had as much cheese as you needed because it was a big sale on cheese and so you had as much cheese as you needed and the question is how many sandwiches could you make? Well if you do the bridge you'll see that you would take 40 divided by 2 times 1 which is 20. So you should make 20 sandwiches out of 40 slices of bread and unlimited cheese. This would be called the theoretical amount or the theoretical yield. Okay, that's the theoretical yield. However, let's say that you were making these sandwiches and you only ended up with 18 sandwiches. Okay, and let's suppose that was the actual yield. And I want to know what, what's the percent yield? So the percent yield equals actual divided by theoretical times 100. So if we're going to do this, we'll say the actual was 18 sandwiches divided by the theoretical, which was 20 times 100. That's going to give you a 90% yield. So it's what you got over what you were supposed to get. So you always have to figure out both numbers and then add them up together. I'm sorry, not add them, but divide them. So let's take a look at this problem. This says that you have an equation of carbon plus hydrogen yielding CH4, which is called methane. You actually have to balance this first, so there's going to be a 2 here to make the equation balanced. Now you're starting with 18 grams of carbon. 18 grams of carbon is right here and it tells you that you made 20 grams of methane in an experiment. So this is telling you the actual. This is the actual because this is from the experiment. You need to figure out the theoretical which is going to be from the bridge. Okay, so theoretical always comes from stoichiometry which is the bridge. So notice that this is grams, so we have to use the big bridge for this. And big bridge is going to be adding up these from the periodic table. So this weighs 12, this weighs 16. You don't even need to worry about the hydrogen because it says it's unlimited. So unlimited hydrogen means you have as much as you want. So we're going to do big bridge. We're going to do 18 divided by 1 divided by 12 times 16 times 1. And that's going <coughs> to, excuse me, that's going to give us an answer of 20. So we're supposed to make 24 grams of the methane. That's our theoretical. So how do we get the percent yield? We take actual over theoretical. Oh dear. So here we go here. So we take so, sorry, 20. 20 was the actual divided by the theoretical, which was 24.0 times 100 and that's going to give you an 83.3 percent yield. Alright, so let's try the next problem. If you want you could pause the video and do it yourself and then see if you got it right. So we're going to read this problem and we're going to realize that we started off with 49.7 grams of chlorine, so that's right here, and we're trying to make CCL4. Again, this is the experimental, so this would be the actual again. You need to balance this equation. I always check for balancing, so it should be a 2. And since we are doing grams, we have to do the big bridge. So this way is 71. Oops, let me try to do this in register. Remember, for grams, it's going to be 71. <laughs> uh, sorry, 71. 
and this weighs 154 when you add it up from the periodic table. So now we're going to do big bridge. So 49.7 divided by 2 divided by 71 times 154 times 1. That's going to give you a 53.9 gram answer. And again, that is the theoretical. So to find the percent yield, we're going to take our actual, which is 42.1 grams, divided by our theoretical, which is 53.9 grams times 100, and that's going to give you a 78.1% yield. Okay, let's try the last part of this page. I'm going to move up. Now they're telling us that we have a reaction, well it's the same reaction, so I'll leave this showing, and it says that let's suppose that it's 70% efficient. So in other words, that's the percent yield is always going to be 70% in this reaction. So the question is, what is the actual that we're going to get? So we're starting off with 60 grams this time. So I'm going to write the 60 over here, and this is 60 grams of carbon. So if you can see what I'm doing, I'm aligning carbon with 60 grams. All right, so let's figure out our theoretical from carbon all the way to CCL4. Again, this is going to be big bridge. And we're going to get our theoretical right here. So we're going to do big bridge. We're going to do 60 divided by 1. Now we need to know the molar mass of this. We're from the periodic table is 12. So once again, 60 divided by 1 divided by 12 times 154 times 1. That's going to give us an answer of 770 grams. So we're supposed to make 770 grams of the CCL4. However, this is telling us that we're only 70% efficient. We're only going to get 70% of what we need. So you could just take 70% of 770, and that's going to tell you that you should have made or you would have made, sorry, you would have made 539 grams of CCL4, and that's going to be the actual. You could have set this up uh, the same way you did before, if that makes more sense to you. So I'll show you that way. Remember how we did percent yield equals actual, which is what we didn't know, divided by the theoretical, which we did know times 100. So you could solve this problem right here. It's the exact same thing. This setup right here is the exact same thing as this. So whatever makes more sense to you. If you understand that you could just take the percentage of the theoretical to get the answer, that's fine. Or if you want to just set up the whole equation like we usually do, percent equals actual over theoretical times 100, you're going to get the same answer no matter how you set this up. And this should help you doing percent yield problems.